AliExpress is one of the biggest e-commerce websites in the world with a wide range of products. You can buy anything from electronics to clothes. With low prices and great products, many buyers will choose to go to AliExpress over the competitors. We are Parsub, and since there's a lot of product data available on AliExpress, we'll show you how you can scrape the website without any coding skills. In order to web scrape an e-commerce website without any coding skills, you'll need to download a free web scraper. While there are a handful of web scrapers available, we think you'll enjoy Parsub. It's free and easy to use and has a suite of features we think you'll enjoy like cloud-based scraping, IP rotation, Dropbox integration, scheduling, and many more. The download link is in the description. So let's show you how you can scrape the data from AliExpress. Once Parsub is downloaded and installed, click on the new project button and submit the URL you want to scrape. In this case, it will be men's hoodies for sale on AliExpress. Once the site is rendered, a select command will automatically be created. You'll need to select the main element to this page. In this case, it'll look like this. Rename the selection to scroll. Once you have the main div selected, you can add the scroll function. On the left sidebar, click on the plus sign next to your scroll selection, click on advance, then select the scroll function. You'll need to tell how long the software to scroll. Depending on how big the page is, you may need a bigger number. But for now, let's put it to two times and make sure it's aligned to the bottom. Now, click on the plus sign next to your page command and choose the select command. Click on the first product name on the page. The product name you've clicked will become green to indicate that it's been selected. The rest of the product names will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one on the list. Now all the items will be highlighted in green. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to product. You'll notice that Parsub is now extracting the product name and URL for each product. On the left sidebar, click the plus sign next to the product selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first product name on the page and then on its listing price. You'll see an arrow connecting the two selections. Expand the new command you created and then delete the URL that is also being extracted by default. Repeat these steps to also extract the product star rating, the number of views, and who is selling the item. Make sure to rename your selections accordingly. We've now selected all the data we want to scrape from the results page. Your project should now look like this. Feel free to pause the video to have a closer look. Now, you might want to scrape several pages worth of data for this project. So far, we're only scraping page one of the search results. Let's set a parse up to navigate to the next two result pages. Click on the plus sign next to the page selection and choose the select command. Then select the next page link at the bottom of the AliExpress page. Rename the selection to next. By default, Parcel will extract the text and URL from this link. So expand your new selection and remove these two extract commands. Now, click on the plus sign of your next selection and use the click command. A pop-up will appear asking if this is the next page link. Click yes and enter the number of pages you'd like to navigate to. In this case, we'll scrape two additional pages. Now that we're done setting up the project, it's time to run our scrape. On the left sidebar, click on the Get Data button and click on the Run button to run your scrape. For longer projects, we recommend doing a test run to verify that your data will be formatted correctly. After the scrape job is completed, you'll be able to download all the information you requested as a handy spreadsheet or as a JSON file. You now know how to scrape product data from AliExpress and export it into an Excel or JSON file. However, you might be looking to scrape a website we haven't gone over yet or is giving you trouble while scraping. In any case, feel free to reach out to us via live chat where we'll be happy to assist you with any of your web scraping projects. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.